Good morning, coaches. I am coming to you from Virginia, from my hotel room. It is the 31st day of the month. So I wanted to just take a second, maybe I'm doing something right. Take a second to just record a little video for you guys, just to maybe hopefully give you guys a little bit of motivation, um, a little bit of drive, a little bit of determination to end this month strong, okay? Um, I, I've shared this so many times, but I'm hoping that it maybe, you know, some of you haven't heard it. Maybe some of you are new and you're at three to four points and you're wanting to end the month strong. Um, but when I signed up as a coach, I was an all in coach. I jumped in, I saw the potential because my coach, Leslie, had shown me the potential was there. At the time, she was making like $3,000 a week. And I was like, oh my God, if I could only make $3,000, like that would be insane. I was like, at the point, like, if I made $500 a week, my family would be changed. Do you know what I mean? And so I messaged Leslie and I said, okay, what are you doing? Like, what do I have to do to be successful in this business? And she said two things. She said, hit success club and rank advance. And that stuck with me. That was ingrained in my head from day one as a coach that success meant hitting success club and, re and rank advancing. Okay. So I want you guys to have that soak in. I am reading the book, The 10X Rule. It's actually by my bed right now with my coffee. <laughs> and there is a chapter in there that talks about becoming obsessed. And he says that society thinks that, you know, they see people who are obsessed with something. Like I hear all the time, like, I don't want to be, eat, I don't want to eat, sleep, and breathe beach body like you do, Raina. And, and that used to offend me in a way. That used to like be like, okay, so, you know what I mean? Like it used to kind of hurt my feelings a little bit to hear that phrase. Um, until I read that chapter, I actually read it yesterday. So up until yesterday, that kind of hurt my feelings hearing that sometimes. Um, so I read this chapter that, that Grant Cardone talks about how successful people are obsessed. Successful people, it's okay to be obsessed. And the reason being, because why, why is it bad for someone to invest all their time and energy into something that's going to build them freedom? You know what I mean? For the family, financial freedom, physical freedom, mentally. Why is it a bad thing to be all into something? Okay. Why is it a bad thing to put all of your energy into something like this? It's not. But I used to be made to feel like it was a bad thing. Okay. So I want you guys to be encouraged by that. I want you guys to know that just because you're taking, you know, the evening or a nap time or a day away from your family doesn't mean that it's a bad thing. Doesn't mean that you're a terrible mom. Doesn't mean that you're a bad wife. Your husband will get it eventually. Trust me. It just means that you have a passion for something that is bigger than you. This is not just about selling challenge packs. This is about changing lives every single day. This is about changing lives physically in challenge groups. This is about changing lives financially. And I'm in the business of changing lives financially. When I started, yeah, I was all about changing lives physically, but my interest now has moved on to helping other people see success like I have, because you guys, that freedom, that income, yeah, it doesn't buy happiness, but it sure paves the way for a lot of freedom and stress-free living, okay? And that's what I want for a lot of you, and I know a lot of you want that as well, so that's what I'm here to provide, and I hope that gives you some sort of motivation. Um, but there's a part in the book that talks about the, the four common actions of people, okay, of people who are entrepreneurs or working or, you know, they work at corporate somewhere or just working for someone else, whatever the case may be, four actions, okay. The first action that people have when they are working towards something is to do nothing, okay. They're in this mindset of, all right, you know, this isn't really worth the work. It's, this is where the millennials come in. Those people who we sign up as coaches who jump in and who are like, okay, now where's all the money? Like, why isn't it happening for me? They're not willing to put in the work that it takes to get there. Okay. That's the people who are sitting there watching this video doing nothing. You're probably not even watching this video because you don't even watch the videos because you do nothing. Um, so I'll move on because you're not even watching. Second thing they do is they retreat, okay? They watch a video like this and they are immediately making excuses in their head as to why they're not able to do what I'm doing. Sound familiar? Some of you have like a little pounding. You're like, oh my God, that's me. 
you're retreating, okay? You're coming up with 101 excuses as to why this business can't work for you, why you don't have the time, why you don't have the energy. You've got kids, you've got a job, you've got responsibilities. We all have responsibilities, every single one of us. I didn't start as a coach being a full-time stay-at-home mom living on the beach in California with a husband who was retired. I worked my ass off for three years to get where I am today, and I was obsessed for three years to get where I am today, okay? I never retreated. I never made excuses. When I had a challenge come up or when I had something happen, I pushed through it and I made sure that I was stronger on the other side, okay? The third thing they do is they take mediocre action. They take average action. They take average action, okay? That average, average action is filling out your bet. That average action is doing your three invites every single day and calling it quits. That average action is adding three people a day and calling it quits. That average action is hitting success club five and then stopping for the rest of the month because you hit your goal. Five should not be your goal. 10, 20, 30 should be your goal and then fall short if it happens. But set uncomfortable goals. Only when you set uncomfortable goals will you actually work hard enough to accomplish them. Okay? No more average. Average is boring. The fourth thing people do is they put in 10x energy. 10 times the energy as anyone else. That's me. I read this book and I was literally like, that's me. Most of you are watching this and you're like, mm, number two is me. Eh, number three is me. Four is me. I put in 10 times the effort as anyone else. Friendly, funny story, when Anita and I started coaching, we were like competing against each other. I had a mindset where I was like, and this is even before the 10X rule, I had the mindset where I was like, I'm gonna do more than her because I wanna be her, because she's competition. We had this competition back and forth. We're friends now, it's fine. But I had that mindset, and that mindset grew me in this business. So if you have any ounce of competition in you, Team yourself up with somebody and play that game, okay? I have worked late nights. I have worked early mornings. I have worked during nap time. I have skipped field trips that I could have gone on. I have skipped family dates that I could have gone on. I've skipped a lot of things. Am I, am I missing out on life? Am I, you know, so sad because of it? No, because that year that it took to retire my husband, where I put my face down and I grinded every single night to get there was worth it. That next year when I put my face down and grinded every single day to move my family to California was worth it. This past year where I put my face down and I grinded every single day to hit Superstar Diamond in top 10 was worth it. Because you guys, the freedom that you have now is so worth it. Not saying that I'm stopping and I'm just like done and I'm excited at where I am, my mentality and my 10x number four personality is saying, what's next? Where am I going next? And that's the mindset I want you guys to have. I want you guys, I don't even at this point care anymore what the outcome of May is. I really don't care anymore. I want you guys to attack June and finish May with this I don't care personality, with this 10x personality. If you want growth in this business, that 10x mindset has to be your mindset, okay? You cannot survive in this business with average progress, with average results, with average effort. You have to have 10 times the effort that you're putting in right now. And if you're dragging your, you know, if you're following us along and we're dragging you along and you're putting in that average effort, sooner or later, you're going to feel undervalued. You're gonna feel like your effort isn't paying off because guess what, it's not, because you're not putting in enough, okay? I don't even know if this helped. <laughs> I hope it helped. It helped me. I got fired up again. I'm like, I need to go work. Um, and it's okay to be obsessed. It's okay to love this business because we're helping people every single day and we're helping ourselves. You guys, what's the worst that can happen? I say this all, I said this to a potential coach last night. What's the worst that's going to happen if you dig into this? You're going to get in shape and you're going to inspire people. If that's the worst that can happen from this business, sign me up right? Maybe you're not going to be a top 10 coach. Maybe you're not going to make millions of dollars, but you know what? That's okay because every single day that you wake up and you post and you do your workout and you drink your shake out at you and you talk about it, 
you're inspiring people to make a change and maybe you're going to inspire them to sign up as a coach and maybe you're going to inspire that person to become a top 10 coach and maybe that person came from nothing and maybe that person needs something like this in their life and you're the only person that's going to be able to give it to them okay don't hold back from sharing this opportunity. Don't hold back from posting about this opportunity. Make sure you guys are doing every single thing you can to get where you want to be because it can be miraculous. Okay? Have a great day, everybody. Happy May 31st, and I'll see you guys in June. Bye.